uh, connected and collaborative is something I learned from Viva uh, when uh, we are having like uh, we are learning from Viva for a very long time. Uh, so it's always a special uh, thing to work because it gives you like within a less time you can do so much more you can reach out to so many children so many vulnerable families and with limited resource like um uh, you uh, when you collaborate and then everyone giving a uh, little little but when you put together it's bigger and the beautiful uh, part of it is like um we are giving little but we are impacting and we are getting lot and i always remember um uh the uh during the covid-19 time uh when our network come together and they run phone mentoring program uh, between hundreds of families and children during the first lockdown also during the second lockdown and they even help us to recognize uh, needy families and help in distributing relief packages during lockdown period because during lockdown it's not easier uh, but uh, they just like they go to their own places and they recognize their families and they uh, like uh, report uh, us and then uh, when we have the relief packages but we are not uh, allowed to go to different areas because of the strict lockdown so we called our networks from different parts uh to come to one center point and then they collected the relief packages from there and then they went to their own places and distributed and re recently we are doing like door to door awareness program in rural part of the country and these churches uh, we invited them in one place and they are trained um to run uh like anti human trafficking awareness program child marriages awareness program and when they got trained they went to their places and they went to their villages and now they are doing door to door awareness program going each house so this is a beautiful thing uh, uh of co connecting and collaborative we always try to uh, make sure that our interests are aligned and uh try to make sure we have a clear communication um while working with any of our network members i really like the idea like we have network consultant in each region um uh, and that is really helpful for us because we can share our problem uh to them um uh, the other one is uh we can um uh it would be really helpful if we get um some trainings like uh or some orientation like sometimes it's really confusing of uh, how our like our uh, border for how far uh, we need to support our uh, network members and how, where we need to stop now we are um going to have a um, uh, project uh, in one of um uh a trafficking prone area of nepal um so we are going with a child protection and women empowerment program there uh so uh, we are expecting to reach hundreds of families and children there and we are working together with our uh, network churches there and uh, we are really encouraged that the network churches uh, have helped us to recognize and the area the vulnerable families and children and they even help us to um connect with the local government and getting approval to run the program there so uh, nicely the collaborative uh, things is happening there but we really want it to continue uh, and uh, the successful implementation of what we plan to do there so it's in nuakot a uh, district uh so please pray this year dengue cases are less uh, last year we have um 54000 um cases um and 88 deaths uh, but um till 7th august um as per the report like now we have on uh, 9411 dengue cases have registered and bagmati province is where we are working so 
uh, where it is the highest dengue cases are. But um, thanks to Almighty God, and, uh, till now, uh, none of our children are infected by the dengue, but there is high risk of getting uh, infected by this. Um, and the other problem we have, we are facing recently is the outbreak of eye flu, um, uh, commonly known as pink eye. Um, this is happening because of the continuous rainfall uh, over the recent weeks um, in Nepal and in Kathmandu um, and in other part of the country, eye infection is getting viral. And um, till this state, uh, our four children from learning spaces uh, are infected with this virus. So uh, you, you can pray for both of this, uh, for the dengue cases and for the eye flu uh, that it got stopped soon.